Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make this gold Mother's Day cake. Apply a little bit of buttercream onto a cake board. I'm using a six inch cake board with my five inch cake. Fill in the center of some buttercream frosting, and then apply on your next layer of cake. I've used two cakes to create a four layer cake in total. And then press the extra buttercream up against the cake and create your crumb coat. So going in lightly at the top, making sure it's nice and flat, and then adding in more buttercream into the center, into the um, sides of the cake. Smooth it all down with your uh, spatula, smooth off the top as well, and pop into the freezer to set. Maybe for about 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, you can apply your final layer of frosting. Going in nice and heavy, starting at the top, and then going in around the sides as well. Scrape it down with your bench scraper. I'm going around quickly first just to kind of level off all the frosting and then I'll go again slowly to make it nice and smooth. And I'm using my bench scraper to bring in that lip of frosting. I'm finding that bench scrapers give you a much smoother finish than your spatula. Popping it back into the freezer for about five minutes or so. In the meantime I'll roll out my fondant and I've used white fondant by Bakehouse and I've added in some gold uh, America led gel food color. Once it's about a good two to three millimeters in thickness, wrap it over your cake, press out all the air at the top using your fondant smoother, and just kind of um, pull at those folds, make sure they're nice and flat, and then press it against the cake, and keep doing that around the whole cake so you're taking out the folds and pressing it on the cake. Smooth off the sides, and then using a palette knife to cut out the excess around the cake. Go around again with your fondant smooth at the very top as well as the sides. And then add a little bit of vodka in with your gold dust. Now I've used Champagne Gold by Creative Cake Decorating. Using a blush brush because it gives me a lot more coverage. And starting off at the bottom and working my way up to the top. around the very very top of the cake as well and then let that dry for five minutes and then go in with a second coat and you'll just watch your cake just transform it's like a mirror it's awesome I really love this stuff you could do silver as well silver is a really beautiful finish too I just prefer the gold it's nice and shiny and then I'll make the accents to go around the top so again just using the exact same fondant we had before pressing it into a fondant silicon mold and I've Put it with, um, in with a little bit of cornstarch to make sure it didn't stick. And then just kind of press the fondant out of the mold. Now our cake is still going to be a bit moist, so you didn't have to add any glue or anything. You can wrap it right over the cake and it'll stick nicely. And I took a smaller brush and I'm just painting in our little accents up top. I'm making sure to brush along the underside as well because sometimes that fondant can still show through and at the very top as well. Continue that around the whole cake. And this is like a gemstone kind of um, embellishment. It's really, really pretty. And then add on your top. So at the very top I've added uh, just some orchids, but you could add like a really pretty bow. Important thing is here to go with a rich colour to really contrast against the gold. And you're done. And that's how you decorate a cake all in gold without the use of gold leaf. You just use the um, creative cake decorating in champagne gold, some vodka or some rose water if you can't use vodka. I've also got a quick announcement I need to make. I'll be cutting down to one video a week rather than my usual two videos a week simply because of time stress with work, with work from home and the toppers and the bakery and everything else and the videos which takes so much time to make. Um, it's just too much. I've really been stressing and I really need to cut down because if I start burning out, my channel starts burning out and the quality of my videos really start decreasing. My creativity is stunted. So I do need to cut down to one video a week just to make sure that I can pump out good quality videos rather than trying to rush it so that I can meet that two videos a week quota, which isn't what I want for my channel. I want quality. I hope you guys are able to understand. Thank you for tuning in and I will hopefully catch you next time. 
If you like the little cake topper, I saw it on my website, rosiesdessertspot.com.